some other useful ideas. Um, common or garden feather. Well, it's not common or garden. I think that's a, a buzzard feather. Um, you can get some good effects with that. This is used a lot in specialist paint effects, uh, such as marbling. Um, the reason for that is because it gives you a very haphazard finish. If, for example, you are wanting to do some grass, let's just do a imaginary bit of grass here. I've noticed, and it's something to do with the way our brains work, that if you go with um, a little brush, you can, oops, okay, you can you can pull the bits out. That's that's great, okay. But quite often, for some reason, people go into a a pattern, and that's not particularly what you want when you're doing something like that. You've also got this brush here, which you could use to pull out or indeed to put on. Let me just show you up here. But of course that gives you a pattern. But as long as you keep moving your brush it's not so bad. But if you use something like a feather, it really does give you a very abstract sort of arrangement. So let's just put a bit more colour on. Let's put a bit of blue in here just to add some depth and So, next time you're out on a walk and you see a feather, whatever size, get hold of it and keep it. Because look, that has given you a lovely, random, grassy effect. You could use it on trees, um, it could be used for foliage, all sorts of things. So, don't forget something as simple as a feather. You've got your paintbrushes, great, but... Remember, more tools you've got, the more tricks you've got up your sleeve, the more interesting and the more variety your work will have. So that's the feather.